Sister wives, Garrison's little sister makes plea, not a dry eye left. Sister wives star Garrison Brown left 17 siblings behind, all of them dealing with a new world without their brother today in the aftermath of his suicide. Some of the kids from the popular TLC series took to social media to offer their thoughts and share their sadness over their brother's death, but the usually quiet Savannah Brown brought tears to the eyes of many fans with what she had to say. Sister Wives Garrison Brown's death through the eyes of his little sister. Savannah Brown is Janelle Brown's youngest child, which makes her Garrison Brown's little sister and the two of them were close. She is seldom seen on the screen and seems to shy away from photos as well. Although, she seems to be better at allowing the camera to capture her image lately. Today, Garrison's death prompts her to share her feelings about this tragedy. Once you read her post, you can understand why she chose to open up to the Sister Wives fans. She starts her post by trying to understand why Garrison took his own life. But then she goes into the aftermath for her family. What Savannah Brown says about Garrison's tragedy will take your breath away. Trying to understand this loss. This 19-year-old sister wife's daughter opens up her post by saying, Two weeks ago, on Tuesday, March 5, my older brother Garrison took his own life. He was 25, but today, she struggles with why he did this. She writes, I'm having a hard time understanding it. Savannah continues her post by suggesting she realizes now that her brother took away his pan. Garrison Brown's little sister writes, but I know now, more than anything, that my brother Garrison is no longer in any more pain. Still, while Garrison's pain has ended, Savannah shares how painful this has been for her. She misses her brother horrifically and conveys this to the Sister Wives fans. Sister Wives. The pain ends for Garrison, but begins for Savannah Brown. The usually shy Sister Wives daughter, Savannah Brown, was very open about her overwhelming feeling of loss with Garrison's death. The picture she posted above with her message was Garrison Brown, her big brother, holding her as a baby. Then she shared what she experienced daily with her big brother now gone. Savannah feels this loss even as she looks out the window to see cars go by. She writes, Every time I see a car that looks like his on the road, I briefly wonder if it's him on his way home from work before I am reminded that he is gone. It sounds like Garrison and his little sister shared a favorite sandwich, Savannah continued her post, When I mate PB and Jace, I am reminded of him. Sister Wives fans have seen Garrison's photography. Some of his photos focused on the stars, so it's easy to see what his sister means about the night sky. She writes, When I look up at the night sky, heat is there. Savannah warns against ripping a hole in your family. Next, this Sister Wives daughter addresses anyone contemplating suicide today. What she says pulls at your heartstrings. Savannah makes a heartfelt request. I deeply hope that anyone who may be reading this never underestimates how big of a hole their loss would leave. She continues, persevere for the sake of your family, for the sake of your friends, for the sake of the ones who love you. This young woman tries to understand why Garrison Brown took his own life. At the same time, fans found reading her description of being left behind painful. But the fans of this TLC series also believe Savannah Brown captured this tragedy perfectly with her words, her very heartfelt words. In the small town of Willow Creek, nestled among the rolling hills and towering pines, there lived a family unlike any other. The McAllister family was known throughout the community for their warmth, kindness, and unique way of living. Garrison McAllister was the patriarch of the family, a man whose heart was as big as his smile. He had three wives each bringing their own special light to the family, and together they had nine children who ran through the fields and forests like a pack of wild horses. But among all the laughter and love that filled the McAllister household, there was one member of the family who stood out, little Lily McAllister. At just six years old, Lily was the youngest of the McAllister clan, with big brown eyes that sparkled with mischief and a smile that could light up a room. She was adored by all her siblings and the entire town, a true ray of sunshine in even the rainiest of days. One cool autumn evening, as the leaves danced in the breeze and the scent of apple pie filled the air, the McAllister family gathered in their cozy living room for their nightly family meeting. It was a tradition they had started years ago, a time for each member of the family to share their joys, concerns, and dreams with one another. As the meeting went on, Garrison's little sister, Emma, spoke up. Her voice trembled slightly as she cleared her throat. 
catching the attention of everyone in the room. I have something I need to say, she began, her eyes welling up with tears. The room fell silent, the crackling fire the only sound in the room as all eyes turned to Emma. I know we're not supposed to ask for special favors during family meetings. Emma continued, her voice gaining strength with each word. But there's something that's been weighing on my heart, and I can't keep it in any longer. She took a deep breath, her hands trembling slightly in her lap. Garrison's three wives exchanged concerned glances, their hearts aching for Emma as she struggled to find the right words. Lily, sitting next to Emma, reached out and squeezed her hand in support, her eyes filled with love and understanding. I know I'm just a guest in your home, but I feel like I become a part of this family in my own way. Emma continued, her voice filled with emotion. And there's something I need to ask of all of you. She paused, her throat tight with emotion, before finally getting out the words that had been weighing on her heart. I, I want to adopt Lily, Emma whispered, her voice barely audible over the crackling of the fire. I want to make her my daughter, officially and legally. I want her to know that she will always have a place in my heart and my home, no matter what. Tears streamed down Emma's cheeks as she poured out her heart to the family, her love for Lily shining through every word. In the stunned silence that followed Emma's heartfelt plea, Garrison rose from his seat and crossed the room to stand beside his little sister. He enveloped her in a tight hug, his own eyes misty with tears. Emma, he whispered, his voice full of emotion, you have always been a daughter to me, in every way that matters. And Lily, Lily already loves you as her own. Of course, we would be honored to have you officially as part of our family. The room erupted into a chorus of tearful sobs and joyful laughter as the McAllister family embraced Emma and Lily, their hearts overflowing with love and gratitude. There wasn't a dry eye left in the room as they all came together in a group hug, a bond stronger than blood tying them all together. And as the fire crackled and the apple pie scent lingered in the air, the McAllister family knew that this night would be etched into their hearts forever. For in that moment, they can witness the true power of love, a love that knows no bounds, that transcends blood ties and legal documents, a love that makes a family out of the most unlikely souls, binding them together in a bond that can never be broken. And so, in the small town of Willow Creek, the McAllister family continued to live their extraordinary lives, each day filled with laughter, love, and the unshakable knowledge that they were all bound together by something far more powerful than mere genetics. They were bound together by the pure, unbreakable bonds of love. And not a dry eye was left in the town that night as they basked in the glow of that love, a love that would light their way through even the darkest of nights.